Have you ever had a dream that you realized you were dreaming while you were dreaming? That's called a lucid dream. And so we're going to talk about the power of a lucid dream. A lucid dream is a dream where the dreamer realizes that he or she is dreaming. You ever had of a dream like that where you suddenly realize, wait a minute, this is a dream. Well, that's called a lucid dream. And so when the dreamer is lucid, he or she can actively participate in and often manipulate or even change what's taking place within the environment of the dream. So lucid dreaming simply means being able to control the events of the dream and what's taking place in the dream. Actually, the term lucid dreaming is a very old term. It dates back from 1913, and it was coined by a psychiatrist by the name of Frederick von Eaton. So lucid dreaming has been around a long time. Now, I've only had one lucid dream in my entire life, and I've been dreaming for many, 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 many years, as you all know, and, but I only had one lucid dream. And I think I told this in another video, when I was 12 years old, I was having a nightmare and a monster was chasing me in the dream. And at that time I lived in a house um, in order to get into the house from the outside, you had to climb several stairs. So I was running up the stairs, trying to get away from this horrible monster. I got to the top of the stairs, looked down, and I realized at that moment that I was dreaming and the monster was coming behind me. And I said, wait a minute, this is a nightmare. This is a dream. And the monster looked at me surprised like, really? You realize you're dreaming? And I was, yep, this dream is too scary. So I'm going to stop dreaming right now. And I did. And I woke up. And so the, but that was the only lucid dream I ever had in my life. And so God gave me that particular dream so that he can show me that I had power over the evil one, over demonic spirits that would come to torment me because the monster in a dream actually was a demonic spirit that was trying to torment me, trying to uh, incite fear in me. And so, but God was showing me through that lucid dream that I can take authority over that evil spirit and stop the events that were taking place in the dream. Hey, have you picked up your copy of The Mysterious Language of Dreams yet? In this book, I go more in depth about dreams and dream interpretation than I do on my YouTube videos. I talk about the depth dimension of dreams, dream layers. I talk about the time dimension of a dream. Also, dreams and the imagination, which is quite interesting. I also have put over 40 real life, actual dreams that people have dreamt in the book for you to practice your interpretation skills. Also in the back of the book is a dream dictionary with over 400 dream symbols. So I've left a link in the description box below where you can go and pick up your copy of the mysterious language of dreams today. So God will use a lucid dream to teach the dreamer who is a Christian who professes Christ as their savior to take authority over the events that are taking place, the negative events that are taking place in the dream and to take authority over the demonic spirits that have infiltrated the dream. In fact, in the book of Luke, the 10th chapter and the 19th verse, it says, behold, I give you power 
to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. So God can certainly use a lucid dream to teach the dreamer to uh, take authority over the negative events and to change, even manipulate the negative events that are happening in the dream. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any upcoming videos. And feel free to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. God will use lucid dreams to empower the dreamer and cause the dreamer to become bold and courageous. Now, is there a dark side to lucid dreaming? We'll talk about that in the next video. In the meantime, if you have had a lucid dream, I want to hear about it. Leave it in the comments section below. And don't forget to share this channel with your family, your friends, and all of your fellow dreamers. I'll talk to you next time.